video number five that features my house is husband gets his side chick girl pregnant. You finally get to look back inside the master bedroom at a different angle. This is the dresser my mom got me before I moved to California. Then you'll see the other direction entering the bedroom when Nick comes in from the hallway. Now on his left are the bookshelves. I think you saw those when it was uh, Shaylin's room. But now we see my colorful scarves I have hanging on my wall. Anyway, that's one thing, as I talked about before, that you learn about filmmaking. It's all about angles. One place could be used for and represent so many other spaces. We see my coats are hanging there. And then on the door to the master bedroom, behind Nick is a spare bedroom. There's two jewelry boxes behind me also. The small one, the brown one closest to me I've had since high school, and the larger gray one further to the left is an antique, actually from my grandmother, Sylvia. God rest her soul. I think she actually died in the 90s. So I was very young when she died. But that jewelry box, I think, is close to 100 years old. Now, I know it's not in focus, but I just wanted to point out that piece of art hanging is also a print from one of my brother Tim Foster's paintings. Oh, oh, and the white door behind Nick, that actually goes to my walk-in closet, just so you know where that comes from. Actually, you know what? Okay, I totally forgot about this video because they didn't, the crew did not come to my house and shoot here for this video. I shot this clip myself and it ended up in a Darman video. So I guess we could say there was 10 videos shot at my house. All right, it just dawned on me. There was a video with Shaylin and Motown and I was a busy mom who was too busy to spend time with her son. I shot this footage myself on my cell phone and they cut it in and used it in this Darman video. I'm gonna find that clip for you so you guys can see my walk-in closet, okay? <laughs> hey mom, where are you at? Oh, hi honey, I'm not going to be able to make it. What? what? What about our trip? Things got really busy and I'm going to have to actually go to New York. So I will see you in a couple of weeks when I get back. Mom, please, I've been looking forward to this for months. Well, I am sorry that I am busy, but at least I give you everything that you need and want and lots of money. So I gotta run. Now you can see the outside of my house when Nick is walking down the street. It's got the white metal fence on top. Um, it's got the garage, the white rose bushes. My house is sort of like a tannish pink color. Um, some of the angles you can see the palm trees in the background in my front yard. The number six video shot at my house is Gold Digger sleeps with husband's boss. Ooh, <laughs> this was a fun one. Before we get into this video, I just want to point out the sign, a clean house is a sign of a misspent life that was sitting on top of the security box. It's gone. <laughs> okay, now you see Colin going down the hallway that leads to the three bedrooms that are in the front house. Uh, you see the kitchen behind him, you see my key rack. Now normally there is a big painting hanging on that wall uh, to the left of Colin that Rob painted. I'm gonna put a picture of it in there. We took it down for this shot um, and you can vaguely see it in the background of another video. I think the one we did with Aiden where you could see it, but I didn't point it out because it was too far away. Rob painted that. It was interesting because Rob just creates stuff. He just sometimes just he'll be like, oh, I had this board and I had some extra paint. So I just decided to he does it. He just creates it. I think he created like this robot sculpture just a couple weeks ago. He, he's just he's just so creative. And if 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 a few weeks go by and he doesn't create something, he feels like unsettled. So. He just makes stuff and he builds stuff. I mean, 
we've got furniture in the back patio that he's built. He's built these chairs out of skateboards. He's built benches with um, back of pickup trucks. It's just very creative. I, I think it's like a secret dream of his to um, create his own furniture and maybe have his own furniture line that he creates out of different scraps. That would be cool. I gotta make enough to get him retired so he can start doing his dream because it's not fair that I'm doing his dream and he's not, but that's a whole nother video, right? Let's go back inside the master bedroom. Okay, from this angle, you can see to my right, my husband's tall dresser. That is actually formerly a wooden file cabinet he got used. Um, he may have even gotten it from work when they were getting rid of stuff. I'm not sure. This bed frame with the cool metal roses in the headboard and the footboard, that was actually something else the previous owners left at the house when we moved out. Can you believe that? After like 15 years of marriage, we've never had a headboard and a footboard on our beds. <laughs> I guess we just never needed to have something decorative, but now we have one. You know what? I just love that little ballerina lamp to the left. I don't know if you guys know, I said in the video with the ballerina who was fat shamed by dancer, I said that I was, um, I did ballet for 10 years. So if you watch the behind the scenes channel, you would have known that. I saw ballet and I was like, yes, please. <laughs> Wait, were you a ballerina? For 10 years. Catherine was just telling me she comes from a ballet background. I had no me idea. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> this looks really good. Oh, oh, I'm shocked that I just heard that. I haven't done that in so many years. <laughs> Catherine, you're playing a um, real person today. I'm playing a real person, and that's why we're about to do movie magic and put the brown eyes in. So this blue eye's going bye-bye, and we're going to have brown eyes today. Okay, now from this angle, you can see a little white cabinet underneath the brown cabinet. Um, my husband found that little dresser. Someone had put it out on the curb and was getting rid of it, and he took it home. Uh, that's, that's where I store all my, like, DVDs and CDs to listen to in the cars. I have an older car, so it still has a CD player. Okay, so where that white little cabinet was, that was where the desk was in the Grant Cardone video. We just moved it out and put a desk there. If you look behind Colin to the right, you will see Timothy's door, which is full of kids' stickers and his initials, TJ to the left on the door, and the initials, DJ, are for his friend who he shared a room with. Remember the son of the single lady that was renting a room? Well, we kept his initials on the door for actually a couple of years after they moved out because Timothy really missed him and he was his best friend. Um, so yeah, we kept his initials up and f for quite a while kept pictures of him up on the wall and we still have a picture of him and them together in the curio cabinet. Oh, here's a beautiful picture Rob took. Really amazing photography. Um, he is an amazing cinematographer. Some of you if you don't know, you're, you're going to need to check out his website and see some of his work, really, um, robertnorland.com. Oh, see, so look at the little decorative vase with the little ornamental circles in it. That little item was another item just left in the house by the previous owners. I think they got to the point where they were just tired of moving everything, and it was the sons. Uh, and they just wanted it done. They didn't want to have to deal with getting rid of everything because the parents, they had already moved out of the country. I think they moved back to Armenia and the grown up sons were like, we don't want all this decorative stuff. We don't need, we don't need all this. And their moving truck was getting full. I don't know. Listen, can we just talk about the artistic wall behind me? Because when we moved in, this room just had white walls and ugly old brown carpet. Now, I know you can't see the floor, but Rob ripped out all of that yucky carpet and he put in all new flooring himself. And 
you know, he was trying to explain to me what he was going to do with this wall behind me, but I did not catch the vision at, at first at all. He brought home these ugly pieces of plywood sheets and he's like, I'm going to cut them in strips and hang them on the wall. And I'm thinking, no, you can't put that on our walls. I was having like these flashbacks of plywood walls from when I used to live in a trailer court. I was like, that is going to make our house look cheap. <laughs> I just was really worried it was going to look terrible. But then he cut it into strips and he stained it different colors. And now you can see this kind of decor in fancy high-end decorating magazines. So Rob knew. Rob knew. He did a good job. I should just not question his artistic integrity, even if I don't get it. Okay. Oh, the green curtains behind Colin. Those were purchased at the thrift store and Rob hung them up. Now I am about to show you a little cheat they do in tons of movies where they use the same location to represent different places. Now I already showed you in a previous video how we used the front of the house for my place with Aiden and then um, when Gage, my husband, moves out, it's not another whole location, it's just my back guest house. Now they were shooting this video at my house and so I, I tried to make my spare bedroom look like an office space. I don't know if I did very well, but when um, I walk in to catch uh, my husband's boss, played by Nick Sarando, it's my spare bedroom posing as his office. Now if you just watch this in the video, it goes by so quick, you don't even notice these things I'm gonna point out to you. So you probably wouldn't pick up on it. But since this is my house tour through the Darman videos, I am going to point out some things that are mine, you know, that are part of my house. So when you look out the window in the background, I took my curtains down. I know it makes you be able to see outside of stuff that probably wouldn't be outside an office building, but my curtains hanging in my office were burgundy and they did not look like curtains Nick would have hanging in his office. They were like sheer burgundy. Now at the bottom right of the window, that's actually Timothy's special needs stroller. And the brown thing with the three squares uh, above that is our actual above the ground pool. And just behind that is the rusted out 88 Bronco monster truck named Duke. That was one of our main characters used in our film, the zombie movie, Cannibal Corpse Killers. Oh, and here's a little Easter egg. On the shelf above Nick and Mare's head, there are the three books I've written. You can only really see the little bottoms of them, but so I could sort of say my books were in a Darman movie. <laughs> you don't see them though, but I know. I have the satisfaction of knowing a glimpse of them was there. Okay. All right, now we're getting to video number seven that my home was featured in, and it's called This Spoiled Teen Hates Her Present. Oh, here we are back in my living room, but now I have the cream couch cover taken off. So you guys actually get to see I tried to make it look like a different place. So you can see our couch is actually green. That was another treasure Rob found at the Salvation Army. And bonus, he got it on half price day. He really liked the design of it, like the square. I think he likes kind of 60s kind of furniture. He does not like couches that have the big, the big overstuffed puffy things. He likes things more streamlined. So yes, we got that on a real deal. Also, take note of the pillows that are cream, gold, tan, and gray. Those are actually pillow covers to go with the new carpet we had just gotten, which you'll see, I believe, in the next video. Now, to make the place look different in a couple ways, there's these circle chairs that Colin and I are sitting in. We, I had just gotten those. Those were brand new, so you won't see that you didn't see those in other videos. So I had gotten rid of, or moved out of the living room, those tan, ornate, carved, taller chairs that were in there. I moved those back to the dining room, I believe. And if you look behind Colin, that curio cabinet with our family pictures in is gone. 
So instead, there's a 1940s Art Deco bar behind us. That's just a piece of furniture I'm holding for my friend Sheila because it doesn't fit where she moved, so she asked us if we could hold on to it for her. There's no actual liquor in the liquor cabinet. I actually use it to store a couple hundred copies of my books that I've written. So in the Fortnite video, you saw the picture of Yosemite. Now you can see it's part of a set of framed posters. And the next one to it, you didn't see before, is from Zion. That is another national park that my husband has traveled to. So behind Mare to her left is actually a famous print my mom found, probably at a thrift store, because that's kind of what our family does. Um, she framed it for me. So that picture my mom framed for me is called Apple Girl. And it was next to me in the fireplace. Um, next to me, next to Mare, on the mantle. Uh, and that is the area that the bar was in, which you could see way back there when we did the Grant Cardone one video. If you looked all the way back from the door, that's where that little bar was. Video number eight, nurse can't see children from COVID-19. Now, I don't think it was noticeable in the others, but this is our new carpet. Rob picked it out. He's the decorator. It's cream colored. I would not have picked cream with our young boys. It already, since we shot this video, already has like juice stains and smoothie stains. Um, but yeah, you see it, the uh, cream with black and gray. So yeah, I was nervous about getting light carpet because of the kids, but we do own a rug doctor and we've had to pull it out and use it. Our previous carpet was striped and it was like tan and burgundy and brown and stuff like that. So um, if you look at the couch, I threw a gray throw on it to give it a different look. So now behind me where the curio cabinet was and the old tan chairs in the previous videos, you can see to my right is a green chair someone gave us. Actually, I think it's from when the theater department at my old church closed down. I think it was one of the props from one of the plays that they did. And to my left, this is a really cute little book rack. I use it to put our DVDs in. You can't tell from this photo, but it's really beautiful and ornately carved. And I found it one day when I was out for a walk. Someone had threw it out because the legs were broken. Well, I had Rob repair the legs um, and it was good to go. So remember my spare bedroom turned into Nick's office? Now it becomes Mare's sewing room since she's a fashion designer. Now this isn't the desk we used in the Grant Cardone video, but one with more ornate trim. My mom gave me this desk. I took it from Minnesota and it was brown. I painted it white to match. Um, I wanted to have everything white in my office. Honestly, it was Tim's idea. My acting coach, he would, he would sit, when I first decided to turn him off, so he would sit in there for hours looking around trying to think of every angle because he used to direct and produce theater in New York. So he knew how staging should be. And so he, like, we tried things in every single angle and Tim would be, no, no, that's not right. He, he, everything had to like be a certain way. He like, he took his art so seriously that even in the just putting my office furniture in, it had to be a certain way to have you know, this feel and um, he had me, you know, he wanted to make sure that I got this office chair that was tall so people would like know I'm in charge or I'm, I'm the queen. He didn't, he knew I used to, you know, have worthiness issues and I used to get intimidated. So he wanted this certain angle that when people walked in, they would see me in this tall chair and they would, uh, <laughs> uh, gotta love Tim. He had a reason for everything he did. Okay, how about back to the video we're working on? <laughs> okay, I also happen to have this size six fitting bust. Now, I, I got this to make my flypaper dress for my book cover, Poetic Prescriptions for Plaguing Problems. Um, so I put that in there because I thought, you know what, this will make it look more like a fashion designer might have in her sewing room. 
the red and burgundy painting, that is actually an original painting by my brother, Tim. It's like kidneys and organs and a female form with a butt. He actually has a thing about painting butts. You don't, you'll know that when you see his <laughs> website. He has a lot of uh, women's butts. It's, it's a thing, it's a thing he does. I mean, it's not the only thing, but it's kind of a funny thing. <laughs> From a different angle, you can see to my left where the curio cabinet was. It was moved to the dining room, but now you see there's a table and chairs and um, the windows. My dining room faces the street and it has three windows that are angled out um, and the ends and the middle is like flat to the street. The piece of art hanging in the background is something I thought was beautiful and I found um, it's it's an Indian woman with a bindi dot and she's like posing like she's in mid dance and I found it at this like antique at this like antique thrift store. Yeah, our dining room's a nice size. It can it can easily fit six to eight people comfortably. We used to get together a lot with our friends uh, for a while. It was once a month and we would get together and play board games. And honestly, we haven't done that since COVID. Not only that, um, you've seen probably in some of my live videos, my dining room is not a dining room anymore. I have turned it into my studio. So it's full of lights and cameras and green screen. Technically that could be part of a house tour. So let me just take the camera and turn it right now and show you. All right, there's one of my lights. Uh, there's my camera, there's my slight board, there's some of my chairs. There's another light back here. Um, there's a green screen stretched out. Oh, I didn't, you guys didn't see this in another painting. It's hanging uh, the wrong way, but that's another one of my brother's paintings. Technically, I think it's supposed to go like this. I don't know, I, it kind of looks like French fries, but I'm told it's people in tall buildings and he said it represents like, I don't know, the government stepping on people or, I don't know. <laughs> so that was kind of an impromptu house tour. I guess you can see my music stand. There's another light I don't have turned on right now. So this is where I have, this was my dining room, which you just saw. Now it's like this messy studio because I'm filming. I'm currently filming my online course. Um, to be released in September if the stars align and everything goes right. Okay, back to the video at hand. Yes, and that's why Rob hung these curtains for me so I could have a little more sound proofing when, I, when I'm when i in here shooting. And hopefully they, people can't hear me because I'm, I'm sometimes filming here late at night or more likely early in the morning when people are sleeping. Okay, so the painting behind me. You saw a glimpse of this in the video with Aiden, but you didn't see it all the way. It was like just the bottom of it. Now you can see the full painting by Matt Harding. Okay, last but not least, we have the ninth and final video my house was featured in. It is called Alcoholic Dad Abandons His Own Family. To make the place looked different this time. I threw this brown and cream blanket over the couch. And now you can see what um, the pillows actually look like without the covers on them. Those cream covers, uh, they're actually brown pillows of like squares on them of different colors that used to go really well with our old colored carpet before we got the new carpet. So yeah, instead of getting new pillows, it, it was just, it made more sense just to get pillow covers to cover them instead of getting all new pillows because there was nothing wrong with the pillows, they just didn't match. Yeah, I don't throw things out if they still work. You can tell from my home decor that I don't, I don't spend money on that kind of things. I like to spend money on things that are more important, like food <laughs> and clothes. And um, my husband likes to spend money on adventures and fun and going camping. And I also spend my money on editors to cut these videos together for you. So if I spent it all on home decor, I, you guys wouldn't get to see my stuff and my channel. So um, I'm taking one for the team. 
part of the reason is I'm doing this for you guys, right? <laughs> to change it up for this video, I took two prints from the guest house kitchen and I hung them here. These are prints actually of two of my brother's paintings. Now the one to the left is like bottles of Tabasco sauce and olive oil. And the one to the right, they're various shapes and sizes of glass bottles. And now this is the first scene in the living room where I had a coffee table. Um, I borrowed this from the guest house. Um, this was Tim's. You saw it there covered with beer and cheese puffs and popsicles in Husband Leaves This Family of 13 Years. So yeah, that was one of my tenants. So now you finally see the front of my fireplace in the living room and the mantle with the mirror on it. It looks like I've gotten more knickknacks on it since the last time we showed it in Lazy Husband is Addicted to Fortnite. Okay, now you see the third framed vintage poster of the third national park my husband has been to, and that is Yosemite. Okay, now we are moving back to the guest house, but you're gonna notice some changes have been made since you saw the guest house. Okay, now the dad's house. Now he just has a tray table for his beers. Well, that's because I snagged their coffee table for the scene we used up front in the main house. Oh, now you'll notice the walls aren't white anymore. They are painted a nice shade of light gray and took the curtains down that were hanging there. If you pause it when the dad has the, the tray table right at the beginning, uh, you can see where the curtains were moved to uh, back behind there. That That's separating. There's this like little walkway behind those curtains that separate the back house from the front part of the house and there's a door. There's a door that we can lock from the front that goes into the main part of the house. So in my main part of the house, we have the front door you've seen in the video, then we have a sliding back patio door that goes out to our backyard and pergola and then where the Apple Girl painting was hanging behind Mare, there was a door. That door is what leads back to the guest house. Now, when you walk down that stair, they have their own entryway, and then the entryway where you see people coming in um, for the videos, that's actually their back door they're coming in. So there's four ways to get in the house with doors. All right, and then the fifth door is what separates the two houses. Okay, so you can see the painting that Rob's grandmother did has moved. Remember the other video, that's where there was a poster of a guy and a gal on a motorcycle. So now the moving boxes are gone and there is a set of vintage suitcases there and I put a vase with a flower in it. Probably not what this guy would have had, but the biggest change is, look, the tan tile floors are gone and now it's um, like a darker gray faux wood. We redid these floors. You guys, this was all Tim's idea. My acting coach was like, we need to like spruce this up back here. We need to, and he spent a long time, hours, like going over colors, paint samples and floor samples. And yeah, he was really into making sure everything was just perfect and great. Okay, so we redid these floors um, in the hallway, in the kitchen, in the living room. Okay, now do you notice anything different here? The walls were painted white when Gage's dad was here and the husband leaves the family of 13 years. And now here's Nick and his dad. Do you remember there was brown woodwork and brown bars? We did more than just painting. We removed all that dark woodwork behind them. And now instead of the table and chairs that were in the kitchen, which I don't think you even saw, Rob made this cool, tall bar countertop out of cement. And I bought them some really nice cushy bar stools, um, like a medium gray color to sit at to match the gray walls and the gray floor. Now, from this angle, you see the front door behind him. To the right, my dancing lady artwork. To the left is my dented mirror. And you even got a sneak peek of my sign. A clean house is a sign of a misspent life. <laughs> it's a little peek. I know it's there and I know what it says. Guys, that is the nine videos that my house appeared in, the Darman videos. 
I know I didn't show my son Timothy's room. We almost filmed in there for Aiden's room in Husband Leaves His Family of 13 Years, but it didn't really look like a teenager room. My son has a lot of younger stuff and the space was tight and it would have been, I think it would have been a challenge to find the right angles, you know, cause he had a bunk bed and just, it's just, it's just messy. Um, so if you want to picture what my son's room looks like, it looks like, I don't know, maybe a toy store, uh, and a bookstore exploded. Okay. 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 You twisted my arm. I don't want to get you all worked up in the comments section for not showing it. So I will just, you know, I'll just show it, but I'm warning you, I did not clean it. So you're going to see it as is because what is my motto? A clean house is a sign of a misspent life. So here it is. I'm going to show you first, um, Okay, here's my office as it looks now without being picked up or ready for filming. All right, we've got Timothy in here playing video games on my TV. Here is the poster Darman Studios made me to celebrate my 100 episodes. You can see the books I've written on that shelf, my pictures of friends and different awards that I've won for my acting and filmmaking. And here's a collage of pictures of Tim Omen my late acting coach. Now here's our guest bathroom and this painting on the wall is one Timothy did. Uh, this is outside of his room. You see the bumper sticker for Chesley Skate Park. That's in Mankato, Minnesota. Now my husband actually helped start this skate park like 20 years ago and he actually designed this logo for them. Now, Timothy and Elijah's room is overflowing with toys and books. They never make their bed, and Elijah still has his little preemie onesies hanging above his crib. These fit him back when he only weighed three or four pounds. They share a closet, and they share the room, and I have been saving Timothy's clothes to pass down to Eli, and lots of toys Timothy kept and never got rid of are now Eli's toys. Now, the last thing I know I didn't show you was the master bath, and that's because I shot this early in the morning, 6 a.m., and Rot was still asleep, so you're just gonna have to get over not seeing the master bathroom. I think you guys have seen enough if you've stuck with me this long. This is the end of my house tour through Darman videos. If you want more content like this featuring the Darman videos, you just, you know, just let me know in the comment box. And if you have any specific ideas that you want me to do, just let me know. Um, I appreciate you watching. Hey there, it is Katherine Norland. I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys think that this video would bless somebody else or that they need to hear it, please hit the share button and there's a little bell button too where you can be notified whenever I have a video that comes out so you don't miss a thing. I appreciate you guys. Remember always live true, love hard, shine bright, and I will see you in the next video.